Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a taste test Tuesday of Asian snacks and goodies. I got for my birthday. If you guys watch my birthday haul, I'm gonna leave it down below, link down below if you guys wanna see it. My mom and dad got me this entire thing of snacks. Okay guys, the very first thing is this frozen wafer sandwich. It's matcha flavored and it's a traditional Japanese frozen dessert. I can't wait. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. It looks like a waffle. <laughs> My sense of teeth are shook. That is matcha on God. Mm. I don't know what's at the top here. Artificial chocolate flavored coating. Mmm. This matcha is so matchy. And uh, this part of it doesn't really have a flavor, but it gives it like a chewy texture to it and like a waffle vibe. Okay, I'm putting this back in the freezer and having it later. Yes! <laughs> Next, I'm gonna try these white chocolate paperos. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Papero. They look like toffees to me. Yes! Oh, yo. <laughs> this smells so good. Let's look at one. Oh! They look like a picture. <laughs> I mean, it's rare that, you know, what somebody shows online and what they are in person. Like, oh my God, this person showed out. You don't need no filter. <laughs> I can't relate to him. Hockey who? Oh my God. Oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> this is so dramatic. This is the best thing I've ever had. Why is this so good? Oh my God. Go get these. Go buy these. If you see these, get them. If you love like Oreo, cookies and cream stuff. Oh my God, these are these are these are fine. These are fine. Okay. So now we're gonna try this um, Thai flavored bubble milk tea drink. Um, yep, we are. <laughs> Me after a night of drinking. <laughs> oh my God, it's like orangey. Can we see that? Can I take some of this out? Look at it, it's like orange. What the heck, a maki? It's literally the same color as this. What? Thai flavor, what's Thai? Mmm, oh, mmm, mmm, mm. It tastes like roasted milk tea. When you get a bubble tea and you get like roasted milk, mmm. Oh, I don't know why it's orange though. It's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> so good, yum. This tastes like, like a English breakfast tea almost. It's very, very good. Okay, these, a lot of you guys were curious about these. Um, I had some DMs asking like to show these on, um, on social media and like what they look like. Were they sweet? Were they like muffins or were they like cupcakes? I had like probably like three or four DMs being like, we need to know. So these are, okay, they say in English, cream flavored cake. But then they say muffin right here. So we're gonna figure it out here. And then this one here is chocolate flavored cake. So my mom got me both of these or my mom and my dad. But like, let's be honest, my mom probably like dragged my dad there and was like, we're getting this. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so okay. Okay, I was not expecting that. I thought there was gonna be like a whole bunch of mini little muffins. There are two muffins in the pack. And I'm assuming it's the same with this one, right? Ah, here's the packaging. Ah, ah. Oh my God, it smells so good and chocolatey. Oh, it's cute. This is what it looks like. Oh my God, it's adorable. Hmm. <laughs> So dry, the moisture in my house, in my, in my house, in my house, yeah, it literally took all the moisture out of my house. Into that, literally, out of that, into, I don't know, not into, didn't go into there, that's for sure. Ew. And the flavor is like, you know when you go into a gym and then you just like smell like sweaty balls, like that? <laughs> Girl, not everything is gonna be good. Everything else is gonna be so good, but I don't know about these muffins. Okay, it is sweet though, it's not a muffin. I would say it's a cupcake, but there's no frosting on it. Wait, what makes a cupcake a cupcake? The frosting? Cause muffins can be sweet, girl. Wait. Girl, I'm gonna say this is a muffin. Here's this one. Oh, it, it. Actually, gag. that smells like a baby diaper. Actually, I won't be able to eat this. Yum. <laughs> Yum, okay, the flavor. It stinks. The flavor's, nope, that's coconut. Huh? Vanilla. Absolutely not, that's coconut. It literally tastes sour. Like it's not, it's not good, okay? It's not good. It doesn't mean I don't like people. It means I don't like these muffins, okay? Let's just, let's remember that. Ugh. That's disgust, like literally. Next, I'm gonna try this little, tiny little treat. 
think, let's compare for comparison. She's like a regular like can of Coke or something like that. It's just a little baby. He's a little grandchild. And this is, it just has chocolate milk. So we're gonna, my nails are shook with this one. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Mmm, this smells like, like evaporated milk or like condensed milk. No, mm. Okay, okay. That is the best chocolate milk I've ever had in my entire life, no cap. The fact that it doesn't have to be in the fridge though is kind of freaking me out. It says on the bottom, 2020, 12, 15. Meaning December 15th, 2020. Is that when it expired? <gasps> Girl, I have to be pooping up. I'm not, it doesn't say on your, sometimes on the packaging it'll say six months after the date printed is when it expires, but it doesn't say that and I can't read it. So I'm not gonna take another sip, but it's damn good. <laughs> RIP to my stomach later. I'm gonna be having... <laughs> okay, another one you guys were curious about and that is the light cheesecake. My mom was like so hyped for this one. She's like, you gotta let me know how it is. Yeah. It smells like cake. It doesn't really smell like a cheesecake. This is what it looks like. Okay, girl. Ooh. Oh my God, it's like, how is this cheesecake? It's really fluffy. It feels really like squishy. Oh, <laughs> I'm coughing. Okay, this is it. Oh my God, this is so good. This is so good. I'll tell you what though, it's not cheesecake. Well, it's not like traditional, like, like I, should, I should say like North American cheesecake. I can't be like, it's not cheesecake, it clearly is. Like, <laughs> it's not like what cheesecake I'm used to, I should be saying. But it's like really, really squishy. It's flaky on top and it has the most um, unique flavor. The flavor. It's so soft and spongy. It's not dry at all. Mmm. It's vanilla, but it almost has like a, <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not being mean when I say this, but like a cottage cheese kind of flavor, like kind of like sour in a way. Something like cream cheese would be, you know, it's like a little bit, it's like a little tart. So maybe that's, maybe it has cream cheese in it. I don't know. This is so good. Soybean, cream cheese. There's cream cheese in it. Baking powder and milk. So I think where that, that like tartness is there. This is so good and it's not dry at all. Like those muffins need to like learn about cheese cheesecake, light cheesecake. Pleasantly surprised. Next we have these um, Hello Kitty chocolate cookies. Hello Kitty chocolate cookies, come on girl. You cannot fail us. This packaging is so freaking cute. Oh my God, they come like individually wrapped in there. Let's grab out a pack. This is so good because if I like them, then I can keep the rest sealed up. Hello Kitty, my girl, she knows what to do. I love Hello Kitty. Oh my God, and they're shaped like her head. You see that? Yes, hello. Yes, Kitty. I can never put anything in. I can never catch anything in my mouth. I didn't hear it in my tooth. Why does it taste burnt? It literally tastes burnt. Now, I love burnt stuff. I love like raw, like raw dough, raw cake. And then I love like burnt, like burnt toast, burnt cheese. So this is like yummy to me. It has like a burnt chocolate taste. Not like dark chocolate, burnt chocolate. These are good. A yes for me. Okay, then I got a bunch of these little cups here and they have like different emojis all on them. See how there's like the boxing emoji. Logan Paul be like, you can see all the different kinds are devil, alien. They're all the same flavor. They just have different tops on them. Uh, me. <laughs> this one has little hard eyes. So it's called a Mayoji Star Cup Chocolate and Biscuit. And it has little biscuits in there with cream and it looks like chocolate. How are you supposed to eat it? Are you just that's, I'm like, like, do you just, just push it? Like, here's what it looks like. Do you just like, kind of push it and eat it? Mmm. Oh, yum. Okay, the biscuits aren't sweet. Mmm. <laughs> but chocolate is sweet. Mmm. This is so good. It's like a Kinder Surprise almost. There's these crunchy little biscuits in there. It's very unique and different. I just don't know how. Am I eating it wrong? I just hope I'm not eating it. Oh, yeah. You can like push it. Oh, see, you can push it right up. And then just go, ah. These would be so cool for like Halloween treats to give out. Okay, I've already tried green tea pockies lots of times on YouTube. And this chocolate porridge mix, um, I'm gonna try it on the vlog channel because I wanna have this for tomorrow morning for breakfast or the next day. I'm also gonna try this tea latte, black tea with milk a different time because I already have two of these drinks open. So I'm gonna drink, well, the one's expired, I think. So I'm just gonna drink the bubble milk tea and I'm gonna save this one um, for when I'm on the go and I want to bring a latte with me and don't wanna go to Starbs. So if you guys wanna subscribe to my vlog, channel link is in the description box down below if you guys want to see that next up we have some uh hello kitty chocolate marshmallows with chocolate cream oh, sorry marshmallows with chocolate cream on the inside she's like, beautiful i love marshmallows Ooh, oh there's all these individuals that's so adorable the packs are all different they look like this i want to try the angel one <laughs> 
This one's got a little tail. It kind of looks like a little whale. <laughs> Me. <laughs> well, it's a little bubble. <laughs> okay, so it's good. To me, it's just like nothing special. It's just some regular marshmallow with a little bit of chocolate in it, but it's still good. And last but certainly not least are these frozen confectionery. In English, this says, um, I'm just gonna pop it up here on the screen. No dessert waffle? Tamago. I don't know what this means, but I'm very, very excited to try it. And they look really, really yummy. Like I've seen these before at the market of Asia and I've always wanted to try them. So I'm really pleasantly surprised that my parents got it for me. Ooh, I just love the packaging. It's just the, the attention to detail is immaculate, honestly. They are so cute. Look at them. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. I'm just gonna grab this one here. Oh, it's so squishy. This is what it looks like. Cream. They just look so well packaged and proportioned and everything. I don't like it, but I do. But I don't. But then I do. I feel like it tastes dry, sweet, but the cream like has no flavor. I feel like the only thing that has flavor is this outside. And it tastes like kind of like sweet and sour at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. I'm so bad at explaining shit. I just, I don't like it, okay? They are cute and I love the attention to detail. And if you guys like them and if your taste buds like them, that's great. But just look at this craftsmanship. It's so cute. It's just not for me. Okay, so that was everything that my parents gave me for one of my birthday presents for the market of Asia. Uh, that's where they went, by the way. And I love, I love, love, love trying things and I hope you guys love this video as well and don't forget to try something new today on this Tuesday and I love you guys I'll talk to you guys on my next one bye